Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you a tour of my rat cage. This cage holds four rats, Susie, Stella, Joan, and Laura. I am using one level of a Critter Nation cage to house them in. It's only four females, so this is an adequate size for them. Okay, so their water bottle is on the side right here at the door so it's easy for me to access. I feed them up here on the top level and their bowl is empty right now because they haven't been fed yet. I feed them in the late evening and it's about to be evening. I'm using fleece for my rats. I really like fleece for rats. I think it looks really nice and it must also feel really nice on their feet. I just really like it. Okay, so let's start up here on the top level. Right here they have a toy to play with. They also have a little sleeping bag that they can get into. Some of them really like to get into these. Uh, this one here is a hammock that has several different levels and is actually their favorite place to sleep. That's Laura. Laura's almost always in there. And from the shape of the bag, I'm pretty sure there's two other rats in there right now as well. Back there is a tunnel for them so that they can run in there with their food or just play in it. They really like their tunnels. Okay, and then moving over here, this is a hammock for them so that they also have somewhere else to sleep. This is just a little toy for them to use. And they have another bed back here, which Laura is digging through right now. Stella is coming to say hi to us. Okay, and then moving on to the bottom of the cage, they have their wheel, and they have another tunnel right here. This one's a really long tunnel. And then here, they actually have another tunnel. This one has three openings, so it's something really fun for them to be able to use. And that is hanging off of the first level underneath. And then back there, it's a little hard to see, but their litter box is in the back. So you're probably wondering what this container is back here. This is just something for them to play in, to forage in, and encourage natural behavior. It has a hole on the top so that they can get into it. I'm going to go ahead and open this. And there is Susie. She's over there chewing on the grass. I put grass in here. It also has dirt. See, it has a couple of inches of dirt. And there's rocks and stuff like that in there. I can spread seeds throughout it so that they can spend time looking for the seeds. I like this because it gives them something to do and gives them access to be able to have dirt in their cage without it making a huge mess. And then over here where Stella is, is a piece of tile. And that is actually cooler than the rest of the cage. So if they get a little hot, they can go and lay on it and cool down. And Joan is still in bed. She's being lazy. But it is the middle of the day right now, so they're mostly only waking up because I'm here and they want to see what I'm doing. If you do have a wheel for your rats, it's really important to have a really big one. Uh, like this one I think is uh, 12 inches.
They also get toys on a regular basis, little things to chew on and rice sticks. And they're pretty happy in their cage. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.